Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning and we're heading out. Uh, we're at Weatherford, Oklahoma, and hopefully we get into a little ways into New Mexico or a little ways further than that. So anyway, our next stop will be Walmart so we can stock up. We're going to do it in Texas because they don't have any taxes, sales taxes on groceries. So anyway, here we go. We're going to head out. Oh, did you want to leave it on? Just for a minute. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. What was that? Goodbye, Walmart. Weatherford, Oklahoma. Thank you, thank you. We did buy supper there. Yeah, we did. We earned our our stay. Right up here. I'm not sure. From what I've seen, it looks like we have to turn left. Turn right. Back right again. Yeah. yeah, see, it says don't enter there. So. Okay, 2 West 40. Right there. You got to turn right there. right there. Take a left. There we go. I think we're going to get on the interstate. We were so tired last night. We just didn't feel like exploring around here a little bit. We just kind of went to Walmart, bought us a microwave meal. Ended up being pretty good though. Had some stuffed bell peppers, fresh green salad, some broccoli and cheese. So it's a pretty good meal for us what you want to call it, 10 minute fix up. All right, well, ain't much to see out here on the interstate. We just headed out, so we're gonna shut you down. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're at the Loves in Elk City, Oklahoma. Let's see how many gallons we just put on. gallons and the price was a dollar eighty nine well let's just say dollar ninety because I rounded up it was hundred and twenty three thirty five whoo but we got almost five hundred out of the last on this big rig so anyway thought I'd do an update talk to you later well folks I know it's dark but she wanted to film crossing into Texas we are just 
about to cross the line here. You'll have to excuse me. I'm in an aggravated state of mind as I have seemed to have developed a sty in my left eye. And I get irritable. But we are at exit one which means that we got about one mile to go before we'll be in the great state, or should I say, the great country of Texas. Yes, I am a Texan. Born and raised there. So I am a little partial to my own country, which it really should be. Just my opinion, of course. Along with a bunch of other Texans that feel the same way. So here we go. I'm gonna try to get this sign for you. Hit the high beams for a minute, baby. There you go. Welcome to Texas. I don't know if you can get it or not, but maybe it'll show up. So for now, We'll go ahead and take you out of the darkness and we'll get back to you. Well, we're sitting here at the Blue Beacon. It's across from the Petro and the Pilot here in Amarillo. We're gonna get to this trek and the tracker both washed. Lucy and Ricky. Lucy and Ricky. So, anyway, just checking in. We're here at Amarillo, Armadillo. All right, bye.
we had a little bit of a water leak lying onto the uh, ice maker so he's in the process of fixing it we had to double back and come into Roswell to the Home Depot the fix-it store so he's down there getting everything prepped and ready to be done Oh, Looney, she's having a fit. Betty's out of her sight. Those are quarter inch brass fittings. Compression fittings. Huh? Compression fittings. Compression fittings. Should we make that a little bit longer, but it'll be alright. Turn the water on, or you mean turn the pump on? Pump on. Okay. I'm going to go inside and turn the pump on for him. Woo! Roswell. Oh, hello. <laughs> you guys didn't see that, did you? That's our makeshift couch until we get one. Okay. Well, did it leak? Yeah. Don't need to go and shut it off? No. Checking for leaks is what he's doing.
party. 